Hi Pisces, welcome to your July to December advance forecast. I am so sorry if this is so late because I've been really busy, okay? But better late than never. So let's take a look what's going to be coming your way for the next six months for you. Okay? Plus, I'll be giving you a sneak peek of your 2019. Year of the Pig should be very, very good for everyone, unlike the Year of the Dog. That there has been a lot of aggression, volcanic eruptions and stuff like that, and violence, political violence. Alright, let's take a look. July for Pisces. Somebody from the past coming back into your life. Finances will keep on increasing and getting better. Looks like you are about to enjoy a very... Hmm, Ooh, prosperous month of July. Plus, changes are coming up ahead, which is, I feel like this is a very good change. Let's take a look at your careers on finances. You know, sometimes when I feel so tired, I don't want to do the reading just because that I feel so obliged to. I want to do the reading when my energy is clear, when I'm in the right mood, when my spirits are, you know are pretty much present to give me some guidance and more insights. Sometimes the reading comes out negative because it is what you need to, you know, it is what you need to avoid, not to look forward to. Now, there are some people that even if, you know, they are so in denial and they are so afraid of hearing what's going to happen next that oh you say some negative things about Aquarius do you have anything against us or st stuff like that I don't have anything against any particular sign but if that is what you need to avoid ooh, it's Pisces but if that is what you need to avoid put in mind and prepare for what can I do I'm not gonna sugarcoat the reading just because that you know it is what's going to make you happy or suffice you. Nope. Life is full of ups and downs. And you have to look... F you know, you have to watch out for the downs more than ups. Alright. Wow. Pisces. Looking good. Mm-mm-mm. Looking good. Alright, let's take a look at your love life and sex life. You know what they say, that when your career and your money is soaring up high, then your love life is on fire. Three is a crowd. Love triangle for you, Pisces. Well, especially if your lover right now is having some cold feet and treating you so mean and cruel keeping some distance, you're missing the old relationship, and your partner is kind of, you know, saying no when you need them. Let's take a look at your health. I feel like your love life is something that you need to, you know, look after right now. Your finances and your, and your other general aspect are really good. Single, somebody from the past who's a fire sign will be coming back into your life, but this is something that you need to watch out for. What is the real intention of this person? As I feel like what, where you've left in the past is not really, you know, it wasn't really good. Although I don't see any closure, that's why the TV keeps on bouncing back and forth. And you're having a hard time closing the door to this person because you believe that you do have a soul connection. But what if it's only a karmic connection? All right. Okay, month of July. First of, lump sum of money coming your way. And if there is something that you're expecting to come your way to claim as a reward, a rebate, or refund, or a payment of some sort, then this uh, first week of month, or this whole month, it will be coming your way. Now, you, for those who's also looking for a job or for those who is looking for some career change, watch out for the first two weeks of this month and definitely you're going to be getting a very good offer, okay, job offer if you're looking for a career change. If you're also thinking of going back to school or if you're so afraid of 
not really making it, okay, to the uh, either to the entrance exam or to the university or whatever it is, or to pass a licensure and uh, you know stuff like that, then you don't really have to be so afraid as you're gonna get it so good and so fast. I feel like you're already in the right mind, right set, and proper, you know, proper set. Now, fire sign coming back from the past, and I feel like um, this person will be using a friend of yours. Either this is a close friend or somebody that is only acquainted to you as a bridge. Now, this person has been trying to reach out to you for the past few months, but you are the one who's been intentionally hiding or rejecting their communications because you don't really want to hear from them. Although, when you, the two of you still, you know, were still together in the past, there was no closure. You didn't even know why this person said goodbye to you. You didn't even know why this person walked out of your life. It's just that they just vanished. They cut off the communications. They've been so mean to you and cruel without any explanations. Bam. You know, that's it. Now, this person is coming back right now to make amends to the past. As I feel like that the reason why they just vanished is because uh, there was a third party in the past. Now, you need to make sure what is their real intention or what is their, you know, like, what is their main mission right now to you it's not just about having you back but i feel like this person has another intention aside from getting you back in their life now changes coming up ahead of you right in the middle of this month and there is a good news that's going to be coming your way but you will be keeping this from most of the people around you now i feel like you are also thinking for those pisces Who's living with their parents or family I feel like you, this is the time that you can definitely cut yourself off from their supply or from their provision now there is also a family occasion or gathering and I feel like you'll be benefiting from them and uh, money coming in financial stability right at the third week of this month and I feel like some Pisces will be rewarded with a project new job new more likely a promotion and increase a uh, big commission or it's like someone will be leaving their position and you're the one that they're going to be putting in whatever it is i feel like this is all for good and this is all for a new, very brand new beginning which is we should just stop here Okay, because this is already good. No need for more clarifications. Just tr make sure that you're not going to be that, you know, airhead person. Okay, just be humble, whatever it is that you're going to be acquiring, getting, and winning. All right. Now, when it comes to your careers and finances, more good news coming your way. I feel like active communications, correspondences, happiness. You just need to balance your time, especially for singles, that you have already lost your time dating and finding the right one. Now, the rest of the Pisces, I feel like you will be celebrating much more rewards, much more accomplishments, achievements, and honors, and more recognition. You know, when it comes to a job well done, I also feel like some Pisces will be uh, will be successful in the field of um, either it's acting, media, broadcasting, or something like in front of the camera. All right. So whether you're an actor, actress, or an anchor, or whatever it is, you're gonna have more success and popularity from this. Now there is also a brand new beginning that I feel like you have gone through a lot of strife and a lot of difficulties in acquiring those things that you have set as your mission. But right now it's just very, very easy for you. Now you need to watch out for those people who's a credit grabber or for those who's going to be stealing right behind your back. Okay. Also be careful for those backstabbers and rumor mongers. Aside from this, you are also going to be attending a uh, seminar or exhibition conference or any other short course or exercise that could take you further in your life and career. Now when it comes to your, 
When it comes to your love life and sex life, if you're with a fire sign right now, this person is definitely juggling between you and another person. Not to mention that there is another fire sign again who will be approaching you for, you know, will be like approaching you for either for a date or for a relationship or something like that. Or this person will be befriending you, which is obviously, you know what this person's intention is. Okay, so be very careful about that. And uh, I feel like you've been having a lot of communication problems. You know, your sex life has been dwindling and it's not really been doing well. You miss the old, I mean, you miss your old times together. You miss those times that you used to be together. When the two of you were so close, but now this person is slowly drifting away. Sometimes this person will you, but sometimes this person doesn't really care about how you feel. Now, there is some sort of a domination and some sort of an insecurity when it comes to who's who and who's earning what. Okay? There's more of an authority or a, what do you call this, like a competition right between the two of you. You're still going to be, you know, I mean, your sex life, it's not really going to it's not going to be like negative zero altogether but it's like on and off on and off and every time that you do it you can feel that this person is also thinking about somebody else or has touched someone else and i feel like you will it's like you'll be feeling a little bit nostalgic you know and i feel like you're going to be missing like where did we go from here what happened to us we used to be happy we used to be so in love we used to be this and that but now it it seems like it's already over now, your partner is looking for some sort of an additional spice or it, it's like, you know, I mean, when you're already in a long-term relationship, things to get so boring and things tend to get so dull and when you do it, it's only for the sake of doing it, you know, not for the sake of loving each other and pleasing and satisfying. <clears throat> now, there are also times that, you know, either you or your partner, whenever you need each other, especially, you know, intimately, the other person says they're tired or they're not available or you're not the one who's available or you're just simply just rejecting their needs. Now, this wooing on and off, on and off, it's just going to go until the month of August. And I feel like there has been some unspoken problems that the two of you aren't really talking, especially that you always bottle up your feelings, especially that you always hide whatever that's inside of you and you don't really speak your mind. Now, you need to learn how to communicate. I know that this is the nature of, um, of your sign, but you can act based on your moon rising or based on your other signs okay sun risings oh sorry other rising signs and um i feel like you need to talk things out and you need to let your partner know what is going on inside of your inside of your heart and inside of your mind now when it comes to your health be careful in eating meat especially if it's not so fresh also be careful with the attack of wild animals especially i don't know why i'm picking up wolves but it's but you know who knows you know they're wild animals they could be everywhere and um i also feel like don't really stay up too late at night and uh, try to stay indoors as early as possible because you will have some problems being nauseous a little bit out of balance always um sleepy I also feel like there is some sort of a sleeping disorder that you will be developing. Uh, you need to... Um, I feel like you need to gain more weight instead of losing. Some Pisces needs to lose weight, some Pisces need to gain more weight. But I feel like it is because that you're so conscious of how you look like and your appearance. You just need to balance your diet and eat more fresh stuff rather than, you know, the frozen stuff. You'll also have some problems with your ovary, chest, um, stomach, nasal problems, and migraines. Your immune system should also need to be boosted and strengthened. Offer some organic stuff, you know, like uh, organic corn, or organic coffee and other stuff um if you're also involved in any form of media your voice will be very affected so be careful especially if you're smoking aside from that i feel like your health will be doing good for the rest of the month 
let's take a look at your Oracle cards. Hmm. Right, be right before we proceed to your August forecast. Ace of Thought, Helper of Emotion, Nine of Abundance, Guardian of Action, Six of Action, Healer of Action. Mm, you need to watch out for all of your decisions that requires more of your actions and major decisions. Ace of Thought, this cherub is arrived to congratulate you for your really new idea, which is truly inspired. It's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of your idea. Don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way. These are merely course corrections to perfect your plan. Helper of emotion and romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love. Gifts of flowers, love letters, and poems read, read aloud are all in your future. Marriage proposals, weddings, and past life connections are possible. Someone new who is romantic, dream, and emotional may enter your life. This person could be an artist who is an idealist about love. Nine of Abundance, life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small, luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. Guardian of Action, it's time for you to step up and be the leader. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is the brand new opportunity, and I feel like this is also related to your promotion. This is your moment in the sun to move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has the charisma, is inspiring, enjoys the challenge, and loves the spotlight. Six of Action, what a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotions, or other recognition for your efforts. Well done. If someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this ha person is having sent and say yes. Healer of Action, this is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. This card indicates someone is loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. Let's take a look at your August forecast. Be careful in spending too much this month of August, Pisces. This is not going to be a very favorable month for you financially.
Wow, okay. Singles, if you're dating an air or a fire sign, then definitely this, you know, either any of the two are very committing. Don't really put your hopes up, especially with the fire sign, because this fire sign is pretty much lost and hates commitment because of what they have gone through in the past. Some people doesn't know how to heal from the past, and they just keep on incurring more pain uh, for themselves and for other people as well. Three of stones, resources, eight of stones, apprentice of pipes. Uh, 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 uh. All right, now the month of August for you travel within the second week of this month and i feel like you're going to be loving whether this is for leisure or business you're going to be loving this little break that you're going to be having and i also feel like someone who's an air sign will be proposing to you or will be offering their love but i feel like this person cannot be trusted okay it's like right after getting what they want and you know impressing you keeping your hopes up and trying to, you know, lead you on. This person will just walk away just like how they did to you before, okay? Now, this brand new beginning, instead of enjoying it, you're going to be in a hurl of a roller coaster, ups and downs, and on and off, hot and cold, back and forth, and stuff like that with this person. Now, your new beginning that you're thinking about, just because, you know, the the, uh, the happiness you're only going to feel it for like a very short period of time and then it will be replaced by a nightmare and a lot of worries and anxieties as i've said be careful if you're currently dating or seeing an air sign or a fire sign now especially for those singles make sure that they are not yet married Okay, it's so easy to give somebody a ring. It's so easy to say that, oh, I want to spend my life with you. You're the one that I really want to, you know, spend my lifetime with and stuff like that. But it's just all, you know, it's just all BS. Now, a younger earth sign is going to be duping you for money and is also going to be trying to take advantage of you. Be very careful about this as well. Now, your finances, it will be average this month. I feel like you're going to have enough, but not so much and not so less. Okay, just be careful in lending money to those people who will appear that, they're, that they really need it. Make sure that they really need it or it's really an emergency or, li or in a life-threatening situation. Otherwise, don't because they are not going to pay you back. Now, when it comes to your careers and finances, you're already having a hard time staying in your current job right now. You know that this has been your home for quite, you know, for quite a while, and it's been for like, especially if you've been sticking around your job for 10 long years. You feel like this has been your home, and you've been so, like, you know, very comfortable. But then you're thinking of a brand new beginning. You're tired, you're bored. It's like you already know all of your responsibilities, even your colleagues' responsibilities like the back of your hand. But now you're looking for more excitement, adventure, and thrill. And more, you know, to expand your responsibilities and to enhance more of your skill. You feel like the job that you're in right now, even if there are some promotions or even if there are some additional works, you, you're just, you know, starting to feel like you really want to find something more meaningful and more, you know, something that will be requiring more of your talents and skills you are going to file for a long leave or for an indefinite leave but i feel like you're gonna be you know you're gonna be declined so i feel like you're just gonna be filing for a short leave let's say two to three weeks you already have enough and you feel like you already you know got all the tools that you need and you're already well equipped financially now you're thinking that you're ready you can make it you can do it and i feel like you were i mean you will assume that you already have what it takes to start something on your own which is i feel like financially you're already well equipped you've been doing fine with your job and you know with your finances for the past few years and i feel like you can just you know if you really want to have a brand new beginning 
alternatively on your own you can make it while you're doing you're still doing your job and I feel like you're also thinking of moving away or going away for a little while around the third week of this month changes are coming up ahead of you as there will be some legal stuff legal settlements or legal papers especially for those who's been taking care of their divorce um, child custody or child support this is the time that you have to pay attention to some very important stuff in your life okay and changes are coming up ahead plus celebration or you'll be attending a party by the end of the month now it comes to your sex life and love life you've been so busy with your work but you are starting to neglect some of your responsibilities and obligations right within your home and i feel like your partner has been um straying for a little while now is really making a career out of this you know you need to watch out for the red flag signs or for some obvious signs no longer red flag it's already you know it's already happening and i feel like you're going to be catching or you're going to be having some proof that you're that your man or that your woman is really having an affair now there will be some it's like there will be a confrontation but this person will be saying sorry to you that they did not really you know did it intentionally blah 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 you're going to be forgiving them and i feel like the insecurity will still be setting in and the affair that they are doing right behind you it's not yet going to be over they're ju they're only acting okay so don't believe whatever it is that they're going to be promising to you for those who's dealing with an earth sign i feel like they do have feelings with the third party okay so be very careful about that now hmm, now when it comes to your health i feel like you're going to be feeling a little bit more much better except for some flu or colds that will be passed on to you for from someone also be careful of chicken pox now you also need to it's like you know there's something about textile or some wardrobes or something that is related to you know to fashion that you're going to be recreating or doing as an example so you're going to be busy and you're going to be incurring more hobbies just to distract yourself or just to divert your attention you'll be staying most of the time indoors I also feel like you will be studying Tai Chi or you want to go back to some meditation or other methods of releasing your toxins and problems inside your body. Aside from that, I feel like you're going to be okay. Okay, I don't see any problem. You're on your way to healing except for some occasional migraines that's going to be uh, that's going to be biting you and that will be um taking much of your attention right at the end of this month of august and you need to eat more don't be afraid to gain weight because you really need it let's take a look at your oracle cards <clears throat> Six of action, healer of action, intuition and insight, go within, eight of thought, messenger of action. What a, okay, six of action, what a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success. Bringing awards, promotions, and other recognition for your efforts. Well done. If someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. Some Pisces will also be opening up their own line of a uh, line of fashion or lingerie or something like that and a man will be helping you which is an earth sign 
Healer of action, this is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. So this card indicates someone is loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. Now, the business that you're going to be taking or that you're going to be um, you know, handling soon or that you're going to be launching um it's gonna take some time for you know for things to turn around but it will definitely slowly pick up the pace intuition and insight your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now so you can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction follow your own insights over the advice of others and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way it may be best to keep your secrets to yourself for now Go within. You're very, you're a very intuitive person, and there are m many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. In a thought, you may feel as if though you're restricted by circumstances you find yourself in, but that's just an illusion. Make your promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come to the rescue when you can free yourself. Messenger of action, something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention. You feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going. Although you may feel insecure, do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative, enthusiastic, and fascinated by life and who wants to try everything. And finally, we're off to your September forecast. September mm, no see I told you if there is a f an air sign in the month of August who will be professing or proposing or will be telling you that oh I'm ready to commit you know this and that this and that this person will be betraying you see I told you they cannot be trusted All right. Now let's take a look at your careers and finances. Uh, this person's true color uh, definitely did not really take that long t for them to show up. Mm -mm -mm. I told you. September is not really going to be a very favorable month for you. Personal or work. Be very careful. Watch your back. Try to keep a low profile. Don't make any major decisions. Mm -hmm. You know, despite of all, despite of this, you know, the stuff that you're going through in your relationship, I still don't see any separation for now. So, it looks like the two of you are both martyr, and you're pretty much putting up with all these dramas, okay? Both of you are tolerating it anyway. from your pet animals for now and don't even take any wild or exotic um, animal pet 
It's not gonna be, you know, it's not gonna turn out well. Now, as I've said, okay, now this person has a different intention or a different agenda towards the proposal that they have presented to you. Or if there is like an air sign has been trying to do business with you and they are, you know, trying to offer their services or whatever it is to you, don't. Okay, because there, there will be a big betrayal that's going to be coming to you right in the first to second week. There will also be some changes right around your residence or uh, domestic stuff. Or I feel like you're going to be moving to a new place or a new house. Or you're already looking for a new place to buy, to move or to live. Now there is also a foundation that you feel like it's all with the hollow, it's no longer serving you well, and you're already starting to, to think of giving it up. Now, lump sum of money, plus family, um, family occasions, merriment or gathering will also be keeping you busy. I also feel like there is somebody who's an air sign, uh, who's an air sign woman that will be cutting you off or there will be a permanent uh, what do you call this like a disentanglement okay and right after that right after that occasion or a situation you will have like um like a success or achievement right after this okay it seems like there is a very toxic person has been causing a lot of distress which is mostly uh, air signs Sorry, I, I'm, I'm about to say fire signs, but it's more of air signs. And I feel like these are the people that you need to stay away from or to lay low with. Now, when it comes to your careers and finances, both the betrayal card came out from your personal and then this. Okay? There is also somebody that you treat as someone who's more likely a, a close colleague, close friend, or somebody that you treat as a family already will be betraying you. This is the person who's been trying to, you know, grab all the credits. At first, you feel like it's okay because it's only a small thing. But now they are slowly becoming more ambitious because they cannot really take all the success that you have been incurring and getting with in all aspects. And it seems like they're very envious and jealous of you. Now, you will feel somehow stuck, but I feel like this is also the person that you're going to be cutting off. Okay, because there is someone that you've been working with or someone that you've been dealing with that you need to cut off or to cut the course permanently. And I feel like this is the one. Now, you feel so stuck in a situation as much as you want to move away right now. This is not really the right moment for you to make any major changes. You also need to take care of yourself as there will be some brand new projects, brand new responsibilities and schemes that you need to, you know, to, you need to, uh, what do you call this, like uh, fix yourself. Okay, and fix your energy to put more of your talent there. But you're already having a hard time handling this because you feel like this is never ending. Okay, you feel so bored with your job as well. You need more actions. You're thinking about moving. You're thinking about, you know, moving to a new city, new location, new village, or whatever it is. What's important is that there is something that you really want to change in your life because life is not really moving to wherever you're sitting right now. Now, when it comes to your sex life and love life, on and off, fightings, wooing, jealousy, there will be some harmony, there will be some thrills and excitement, but you feel so odd with the new sexual adventures and thrills that your partner is teaching you. And you feel a little bit, uh, you know, it's like you don't feel comfortable. You feel like a porn star, you know, with whatever it is that they're trying to do to you. Now, there will be some comparison and there will also be some truth that's going to arise to, from this situation and you'll be asking your partner where did you learn this now there will be a confrontation there will be an argument but it seems like you are the one who can only answer who can get who can have the answer to your questions as i feel like you already know the answer but you just wanted to hear the obvious from them or from your partner now when it comes to your health and finance sorry when it comes to your health um there are some Pisces who will find that who will find out that they are pregnant or that they are you know a few weeks delayed. Also, stay away from your pets, from your animal pets at this point. Even if you're just you know even if you're just taking care of a fish. Now you also need to 
have a balanced diet aside from that i feel like you're going to be feeling okay your body but you will still be feeling nauseous pain at the back pain near your kidney you're also going to be very uh, conscious of your appearance um offer some fresh food instead of uh, artificial and frozen food high blood pressure plus more pain at the back and chest swollen feet and i feel like you will notice that you've been losing your hair or your hair is not really growing aside from that there are some certain health issues that will be you know be coming back that will be coming back and forth especially if you have a um, maintenance of your medicine it seems like you need to change it altogether but you better consult with your doctor okay let's take a look at your oracle cards before we proceed to your october forecast all right you know it's actually a little bit noisy right now here because uh we are renovating a part of the house uh, we're trying to improve some you know some stuff there so it's kind of a little bit nosy sorry noisy and i'm not really sure if you can hear it but it's kind of a uh, bothering me a little bit now let's take a look at your arco cards okay october forecast is coming right up next oh creativity and abundance Guardian of Thought, open your heart, six of action, manifest your dreams, and three of action. I don't see any separation for those who uh, who's already married and been having some problems with their relationships and who's been having a problem with the uh, infidelity of their partner. Creativity and abundance, dear one, you're being called to action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come to the fullness of who you are. It's time for great creativity, giving birth to beloved projects or becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest for you. Guardian of thought, you may be called upon to be a spokesperson for a cause close to your heart. Your angels will give you the perfect words and you'll do, brilliant and you'll do brilliantly. You may be asked to be a mentor or find one yourself. The situation involves someone who's professional with a positive attitude and fresh ideas. This person who could be you may be emotionally unavailable. Open your heart, allow love to grow and bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time. And now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. Six of action with a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotions, or other recognition for your efforts. Well done. If someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. Manifest your dreams. You're ready to go. There's no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps toward the changes you desire, even if they're small steps. Notice signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as resources and support that may recklessly appear. Three of action. Things are working out beautifully now that your ship has come in. It's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to, to continue bu to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. All right, now let's proceed to your October forecast. Okay, now we're off to your October forecast. Let's take a look. uncertainties and unfaithfulness lying and deception from a fire sign be very careful about that
This month of October for you Pisces will be a little bit difficult and tough since that there will be some family issues and some mother issues, okay? That's gonna be bothering you for a little bit and um, but there will be some issues that will just come out of the surface that it seems like your family has been keeping something from you for a long period of time and then you'll be discovering something that you know, they, they've been hiding this right behind your back about a particular male female fa sorry male um, family member and a younger female family member more likely it's a uh, it's something that they have done something that they have spent or something that they have you know something that they have taken without your permission so there will be some misunderstandings and confrontations I don't feel like there will be more of an aggression, but it's more of you're just going to walk away carrying that grudge and um, angerness, okay? Right within you, because you're the type of a person who doesn't really, like, you know, let out whatever that's inside of you. Just keep it until you're just ready to erupt, all right? When it comes to your works and finances, I feel like it will be, you know, it will become even better. There will be a lot of activities, communications, and success, achievement, and recognition, handing over and delivery, okay? Now, let's take a look at your health. Lastly, oof, your sex life and your love life is something that you're... Uh, <clears throat> that you need to look out for. You know, October, um, I think October is the Venus retrograde. <clears throat> and usually when this retrograde strikes, there are a lot of permanent endings and separations, you know, between the two, especially if your relationship is not really that strong, there's not enough foundation, there has been some problems right from the very beginning of your relationship, and there has been an infidelity that keeps rolling on and off. Now, I feel like this is the time that you'll be proving your instincts and your hunches <clears> that <throat> they're all right from, right from the very beginning that you've been seeing some red flag signs with your partner. Anyway, we'll get back to that and uh, let's proceed first to your general reading. Now, <clears throat> as I've said, that there will be some family discoveries that will be breaking your heart and there has been some deception and... Um, <clears throat> some lies that your family has been keeping from you especially that you're a female family member an older female family member has been keeping up or covering up their tracks just for you not to know about it okay it has something to do with something that you own that you possess or something that is more likely a family share that they let your siblings use it without your permission okay <clears throat> There's also some health problems that your mother has been keeping from you. And I feel like this is the time that you will be feeling a little bit <clears throat> conscientious about the situation. Especially when there will be some confrontations. Okay, Right in the middle of the month, there is somebody that will be seeing or looking through you. Or will be reaching out to you from another country or from another city or another area. Okay, and this will be balancing the trauma that's been occurring in your life during the first two weeks of this month of October. The new beginning that you're about to launch or implement or start, you need to hold back or delay it for a little bit because there will be a lot of obstacles and there will be some, let's say, not so good signs for you to start this anytime soon within this month. So just try to hold it back. You don't really have to rush anything and everything. And it's much better for you to act on, you know, at the right time. Now, when it comes to your works and finances, it will be very busy. And there is also a contract that you're going to be signing. For those who's looking for a new job, new opportunity, or ready for a job offer, this is the perfect time for you. It's the first two weeks of October. You will be signing a new contract. And you will be handling a new job responsibility. Or you'll be in a new department. Or some will be promoted. Okay? You will be delving more into your responsibilities, obligations, and learning the new craft of your, 
you know, a new job or a new position. But right at the third week of this month, you're going to have some second thoughts and you'll be feeling a little bit unconfident that you can really make it through. But you know what? You just need to have some faith in yourself that you can do this and you can make it through because there will be success that will be coming your way and you are already on your way to fame. Not really like world fame, but more likely that people will be recognizing your contributions and finally that you will be um, creating another milestone for you. When it comes to your sex life and love life, this is the month that you will be proving that your partner has been conniving with someone who is just a few blocks or just a few walks away from you. Okay, this person is someone that you already know, someone who's curly, not so tall, but very curvaceous, long haired, and um, long haired, and uh, I feel like big, um, big poppy eyes. And they, they have a you know, they have the aura of a being from southern. Okay, um, it's been going on for a while and I feel like you already have a hunch about this person although there wasn't really that obvious, um, obvious, uh, what do you call this, some obvious uh, signs before. But right now I feel like you're going to be going home unexpectedly and you're going to be catching somebody red-handedly. Alright, still I don't see any separation but you'll be opting first for a revenge you want to make your partner feel how does it feel to be in your place or how does it feel to be deceived okay because remember i told you that there there will be a fire sign who's also going to be offering you their uh, their feelings or their you know their re relationship or something like that and you're going to be flirting back it's so unlikely because most of the uh, signs, especially if you're a woman, they're very faithful and loyal. But you also know how to play around. Now, when it comes to your health, stop smoking because your teeth is slowly, you know, getting so affected. You're also, you will also slowly develop. Uh, you will also slowly develop some halitosis, some gum problems, and some problems in your uh, stomach because you've been thinking too much you're always anxious you've been having a lot of sleepless um, sleepless nights and you will be overly distressed and stressed okay now you also need to eat more or to gain more weight because you've been not it's like you've been you haven't been really paying attention much to your diet okay because you're so afraid of gaining weight now watch out for your stomach like um, digestive problems, indigestions, ovarian problems, uh, some lump under your arm and uh, pain in your chest, uh, the lump in your throat and uh, puffiness of your lips and migraine. All right. Now, you will also have some problems or issues with your lungs, which is I've already told you about this. You also need to offer some new methods of releasing your stress like Tai Chi, meditation, and yoga. Okay, High blood pressure, migraine, back pain, uh, pain at the lower back, muscle pain, and more about it goes straight to your bowel uh, like uh, diarrhea and I feel like you also need to protect your skin at this point because it's gonna be really hot and you're gonna have that allergy where your skin will get it will get even so itchy puffy and reddish all right aside from that you just need to drink more water because you will be feeling a little bit nauseous and a little bit uh, um, a little bit out of balance. Now let's check out your oracle cards for this month. 
before we proceed to your November forecast. Manifest your dreams, three of action, five of thought, eight of emotion, organization, and nine of thought. <clears throat> Manifest your dreams, you're ready to go, there's no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps toward the changes you desire, even if they're small steps. Notice signs that guide you in the right direction as well as the resources and support that miraculously appear. Three of action, things are working out beautifully. Now that your ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. Five of thought, the path you were on seemed like the right one, but now you've run into a challenge. There's a better direction for you that will make you much happier in the end. Changes are necessary so that you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are, you are draining or who bring unwanted drama into your life. <clears throat> Eight of emotion, you feel a, a, a deep longing for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there's more there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life. Organization, your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization and discipline to your methods. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual or seek out a mentor. Nine of thoughts, stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts toward the positive. There's no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problems to your angels. Now let's take a look at your November forecast. Okay, <clears throat> someone who's a fire sign is kind of lying right in front of you. Alright, let's take a look at your careers and finances.
it looks like this month of November your partner will be wooing you. Somebody from the past will also try to make amends to their mistake because they have been like on and off, on and off. They're gonna text, they're gonna call you, then not. Or if you're kind of dating somebody like this, then I feel like it's just time for you to close the door with this one because they are not really serious with you. Alright. Now for those who's already married or already committed relationship, there will be some patching things up that's gonna happen, but I don't really feel like this means that they're not gonna do whatever it is that they have done to you. Alright. Yeah, you're gonna be changing your appearance, you're gonna be changing your hair during this month. Still, I feel like you're gonna be enrolling in a gym or some aerobics or whatever fitness it is, whatever fitness program it will be. You know? Now... Looks like this uh, month of November for you, personally, there will be a lot of people who will be backstabbing you. Who will be making you feel a little bit alone, <clears throat> especially that your family will be ganging up on you. They're not going to be talking to you uh, right after the confrontation that happened last month. So, I mean, last, I mean, in the month of October. So, at this point, I feel like you're going to be spending the uh, holidays on your own, okay? And I feel like it is also much better for you to stay away from your family for a little while, because there will be a lot more, a lot more dramas and manipulation, especially that the other family member would somehow make it appear that they are the victim here instead of them asking for, well, instead of them asking for an apology or forgiveness or, you know, at least admitting their mistakes. <coughs> Now somehow, even though that this is what's been going on and what's happening, you will still think about you know, reuniting with your family, but for now, it is much safer for you to stay away from them. Now, it is because of the drama, not because that, you know, that there is some stuff that you need to do, but I feel like it is much better for you not to absorb their toxic and drama and uh, nonsense stuff, some petty stuff, okay? Now, when it comes to your careers and finances, your job or your role looks pretty much good this month. And I feel like you're gonna be a lot of, uh, you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of interactions, briefing, meetings, and I feel like you'll be more in touch with your. For some reason, you're gonna be a little bit an anxious, and you're gonna be thinking more about what happened in the past, the problems that you have incurred in the past, and I feel like at this point you don't really have to worry about anything. It's just that you're kind of overthinking. You are on your way to success. You just need to keep on believing in yourself. Have faith in yourself that you will succeed and eventually reach the top. Okay? Just need to stay humble. Now, when it comes to your sex life and love life, it seems like your partner will try to make it through or he will try to make it up to you. But then there will still be some insecurity issues. There will still be some trust issues. And there will still be some broken promises that you will eventually get tired of. You will try to, you know, work it out again, but I feel like you will end it up weighing down your options if it, if this is still worth keeping for, if you or if you should just move on eventually. Now, when it comes to your health, you'll be very conscious of your appearance, of your skin, but in overall, I feel like you will be changing most of your aura especially your hair, which is, you know, it's actually good, and you will be pampering yourself a little bit. Now, you will find more happiness and contentment, and you're going to be a little bit less stressed this month when it comes to your love and personal life. And I still, I feel like you need to eat more, and you will, you need to take some vacation off near the water. You will also have some extra sensitivity to light during the daytime, so be careful in driving. You will also have some colds and fever by the third week of this month, and don't stay up too late around the end of the month, okay? And I feel like if you're opting for some Tai Chi or any meditation stuff, I feel like this is going to be much better for you. Plus, you will have some frequent cough because of your... Um, long problems. 
I'm not saying that you're going to have tuberculosis, but I feel like it has something to do with your lungs and the immune system. Now let's take a look at your oracle cards. Open your heart, ace of thought, eight of emotion, helper of action, organization, nine of thought. Now open your heart and allow love to grow and bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time and now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. Ace of Thought, this cherub has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea, which is truly inspired. It's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of your idea. Don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way. These are merely course corrections to perfect your plan. Out of emotion, you feel a deep line for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there's more out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out your magi magical new life. Helper of action, you're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have the time, so go get busy. Follow your instincts and have fun. You or someone you meet is very self-assured, capable, and enthusiastic, and can do ev everything with a smile. Organization, your plans are on target, and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization discipline to your methods. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual and seek out a mentor. Nine of thoughts, stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts toward the positive. There's no need to worry, anticipating the worst isn't helpful. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problems to your angels. Okay, and then let's proceed to your December forecast. Finally, we're off to your December forecast. Let's take a look. And right after this, we'll be uh, taking some preview. Or we'll be taking a sneak peek at your 2019. At the four quarters of 2019, alright? Oh, first goal. First card. Looks like... <clears throat> Looks like you're going to have some problems with a fire sign that's going to be deceiving you, intentionally lying right in front of you. Or someone is wearing a mask. This person is only after their opportunity or after whatever they can get from you. And right after taking advantage of your generosity, they're going to take off and cut you off.
Oops. Alright, now looks like you're going to be up for some heartbreak moments or some heartbreaking moments where the, f where the fire sign is just, you know, intentionally taking advantage of you. And right after this person getting what they want from you, they're going to be taking off, which you'll be realizing later on that that is what they really need from you. That's why they're being nice to you, or they're befriending you, or they want to get involved in your life. Now, you will find a little bit disappointment and uh, you're going to be very disappointed about yourself not with the whole situation but with yourself because you have failed to judge this person right from the very beginning you thought that they're you know actually genuine now you'll try to reach out for this person but then eventually they're already you know they already took off they've already cut off the communications changed their numbers their residence and everything else be very careful and entrusting any information money our business with the you know with the fire sign this month because most likely that you're going to be taken advantage of now when it comes to your careers and finances it seems like there will be some delays to your new beginnings but then eventually you're gonna overcome it you're gonna you know reach up another solution to a problem which is it will be shaping up right at the end of the month of November until the whole month of December okay now you will also be feeling a little bit alone and aloof and uh, you don't really want to mingle much around your co-workers even though there will be some parties or some gatherings and you feel like you just want to you know go straight home and um celebrate it on your own okay i feel like you're gonna be a little bit cut off and dry during this month which is eventually this is the month of holidays and uh, you know now when it comes to your love life and sex life, still, you know, as I've said, um, even if your partner will be will, will try to woo you and will try to make it up to you or try to make amends to their mistake, doesn't mean that they're going to be stopping whatever it is that they're going to be doing. It is only their way of manipulating you and making you believe that they are no longer doing it. But in fact, they have, you know, they have another plan on the side that to do it more while they can make you say yes now there will be some resistance and refusal and rejection and I feel like one of you will be walking away and one of you will be like filing for a divorce or finally you know getting the key to your answer but then right after three days or three weeks you're gonna be ending up missing each other m meeting again and you know uh, patching things up so but then, you know, the big trust issues, this is something that will most likely be running for a long period of time and the, also the obsession. Still, I don't see separation. Now, when it comes to your health, I feel like you're going to be a little bit stressed and depressed because of your heart problems or because of your love life. And this is also the reason why there are some, you know, stuff that's going to be happening in your health and you're going to have a hard time finding the reason why you're feeling this way. Now, it's much better for you to, to offer some water therapy or swimming therapy for you to swim it off and for you to remove and release your stress and also your mental toxins. Now, you will also start to, you know, to offer some new hobbies like gardening, planting, crafting, reinventing recycling and something like that okay aside from that you will have some occasional migraines which is because of your depression and stress there are some health issues in the past that might also come back again right the third week of this month don't stay too late at night and i feel like this is going to be one heck of a heavy month for you so for those Pisces who's been smoking and you've already quit, I feel like this is the time that you will also be going back to smoking. So please try to avoid it because you will have some lung issues. Okay, let's, let's take a look at your final oracle cards. Before I get down into your sneak peek or sneak preview of your 2019.
10 of action, messenger of emotion, 8 of emotion, messenger of thought, celebration, 5 of action. Now 10 of action, you're working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and personal life. Be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your neural load so that you can take better care of yourself, straining others to make happy. Sorry, straining yourself to make others happy can be harmful to your health. Master your emotion, this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that can grow into something deeper. You may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing. A social invitation could send it on its way to you. There's a person involved who's very gentle and loving with only the kindest of intentions. It could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. By the way, singles, you will find love right around your co-workers this month. And they're single. Eight of emotion, you feel a deep line for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there's more out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life. Master your thought, a new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. There's so much to learn before you feel, re before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes to your plans. Review all documents carefully. You know we'll meet or are someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant and truthful, but also blunt and not very diplomatic. Celebration, there's a wonderful time in your life. Difficulties fall away and the light at the end of the tunnel is a star you can wish upon. The timing is right to make long-term plans for a joyful future. Have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. Five of actions, your angels want you to know that your current challenges pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself for those who bring drama into your life. Now let's take a look at the sneak preview of year 2019. First quarter, second, third, fourth. Woo, 2019 looks better for you, Pisces. Now, there will be more communications, more ideas that will be implemented. I feel like you will also be leading a team, or you will be going on top, or you will be like presenting a lot of ideas and proposals to a certain project or a certain company, and they're going to be hearing your thoughts, and they're going to be more likely approving most of your ideas and contributions so good for you and this is also a very good month to gear up ahead to your career plus more active communications and if you're also dating this is more likely that you're going to be meeting a lot of people but i feel like it's more of casual hookups and not really that serious now the second quarter of the year more communications and more well, there is a lesson to learn, but I also feel like you will be going overseas most of the time or you will be traveling most of the time during the second quarter. The, sec the third quarter, you will be opting for some new changes. New uh, changes about your home, your life, your appearance, your job, your department, anything or your core. I feel like you will also be changing from red to black, black to red. And uh, I feel like you'll be looking more into feeling, a I mean, enjoying or splurging more of your hard-earned money. The last quarter of the year, you will be rising to the top and I feel like you'll be holding a um, higher position or a leadership position during this month. I'm sorry, during this last quarter of the year. And I feel like you will be... <clears throat> You will be proving a lot to yourself because the 2018 will prove to be more, let's say, challenging, okay, tough, and testing. So 2018, the last quarter of 2019, you will be leading not just a team, but more of an organization, okay, so good for you, Pisces. So that's it for you for this last half of the year. And if you also want to have your own advanced forecast, please go and visit and uh, check out my website at sophiaangel.net. You just need to register there. And if you have some service inquiries, feel free to talk to Alpha. All right. So you may also talk to me live on the phone or live with the readings. Plus, by the way, we have an ongoing promotion or we will have a promotion, sorry, 
for live phone and pre-recorded video readings starting July 4th until 1st of August. Go and check out my website for more information. Blessings to you!